Okay, she asked a very good question since I've switched from semaglutide to terzepatide. How is it going? Very good question. So I'm about to answer that. I'm about to answer that. So those of you who have been following me, y'all already know I was on semaglutide for a time period of about six months. And over that six months, I lost a total of 40 pounds on semaglutide. Okay. And I did not take any breaks. I went straight into terzepatide. So that next dose, I started terzepatide. But when I did start terzepatide, I did not start at a super high dose or anything like that because I did not know how my body would react to taking that particular medication. That was not semaglutide. And I was going to be precautious and be careful. So I started at the very minimal dose just to see if my body liked it, make sure that I did not have any adverse side effects, anything like that. So um, I started on 2.5. I did my 2.5 for four weeks, and then I went up to the five milligrams, okay? And when I went up to five milligrams, I did five milligrams for four weeks as well. This is my last week. This is week four of the five milligrams. So I've actually been on terzepatide for a total of two months now and I only lost about 1.4 pounds on terzepatide so far and it's not a surprise or anything like that because I did titrate all the way up to the highest dose of semaglutide when I was on that so my body was used to a pretty high dose of GLP-1 medication okay and with that I figured Starting at that really minimal dose of terzepatide is a possibility I wasn't going to budge that early because it's not a therapeutic dose. 2.5 is just introducing your body to the medication. Five milligrams is a little more, but it's still not therapeutic. But let me tell you something. The funniest thing happened this week. I did my injection on last Sunday in my tummy, on the right side of my tummy, and Y'all, y'all ain't gonna believe this because it just took me back, okay? So I did this injection. I actually had been stalling from the time I lost that little 1.4 pounds. I had been stalling. And lo and behold, the scales start moving, okay? So my stall broke just out of nowhere. But this is the difference. So I did that last five milligram dose, but there was a little bit more. I was going to use all of it because I didn't want to waste it. And I knew I was going to be moving up to 7.5 milligrams. And so I'm like, I'm going to use this teensy little bit left. And so it took it a little bit above the five milligrams. Definitely not 7.5 though, <laughs> just a teensy, teensy bit above. And that right there broke my stall and when I tell you like all I wanted most of the week was just salad <laughs> so I went and I um tried the sub in the tub but I kind of tried making it at home and I like it I like the homemade version of it better I like the way I make it better so I've been loving the lettuce with some banana peppers some jalapenos some pepper jack cheese uh what else I'll be putting in there a little bit of turkey lunch meat deli meat and uh, bacon, the little bacon pieces. Yeah, little pieces of bacon and a little bit of like red wine vinaigrette. I put a little bit of that, some salt, pepper. I don't put oregano or anything like that like they do. But um, I'm trying to think, is that it? Oh, and meal and a little bit of that. Um, it's like a brown, like a spicy brown mustard. I put a drop of that because I'm not a mustard person. I usually only do like the regular mustard I do on a hot dog or something. And I don't eat hot dogs very often. It's not really my thing. <laughs> but um, every now and again, I'll make it for the boys. And, you know, they still like pizza and hot dogs and things like that. So occasionally I might have one, but I'm kind of picky on these medications. So but that was an excellent question. And so now that I'm up and I'm increasing to 7.5 I believe this is the time I believe like the show is about to go on the show is about to be popping the curtains are opening Ta-da! and it's about to be on and popping from this point forward I think we are finally 
where we need to be for the magic to happen. We're going to sit back and let it do what it do. So I'm really excited that I wasn't stressing about it. That's one thing you do not want to stress. But I was not stressing about it because I knew I was not on a therapeutic dose. And I knew that my body was used to a high dose of semaglutide. But um, because uh, like the food noise and things like that, like I haven't had much of it. And it was just a teensy bit over five milligrams. I know this 7.5 is about to be popping. Like I know I'm not about to be hungry. I think my energy, I hope my energy and stuff is still good. But I'm going to come back and give you all an update on how it's going once I dose up. I just placed an order with AC Peptides, and so um, with AC Peptides, uh, those of you that are familiar with it, you do have to actually mix your own medications, and so with them, um, I actually mix it, and it's not so bad once you get used to doing that. Those of you who are not comfortable mixing your own medications, your own peptides and everything, uh, orderly meds, I recommend for you. Okay, and you do not have to commit to, um, you don't have to commit to a whole three months or anything like that. Like when I was with Minute MD, it was like a three month commitment. Okay, you don't have that 90 day commitment with orderly meds, um, but you don't have to worry about mixing your own medication if you're not comfortable with doing so. But as of right now, I am waiting on my medication to come from AC peptides, woo woo, and then. I may mix that with y'all. We'll see. Um, I've been mixing with y'all just to show you how I do that. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. So I will be giving y'all an update. And thanks for asking the question. And um, yeah, let me know if y'all have any more questions. I'm always happy to answer. But I'm um, happy losing y'all. GLP1 fam. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye-bye.